Hello, welcome back. As you can see, um, another uh, pickups video. Just a few games that I've picked up. This is going to have to be the last games that I buy for a while. These are courtesy of um, Darren Edwards, and they've arrived this morning. Very, very uh, well packaged. Very, very swift delivery. I'm very impressed with um, the service that he's given me. So it's just going to go through um, each game very quickly. They are, of course, going to be subject of uh, videos over the hopefully not too... Uh, distant future so let's dive in see what we've got now he's packaged these up really really well for me um like i said i am very very grateful to him for that so we have got ah whoops a daisy we've got blue max which is a game i've seen a couple of videos of and i quite like the look of never played it myself though so as ever with um all these various uh, things that i do i want you to share your knowledge and experience of these uh, games with me um because that's what it's all about you have to excuse the uh, the dog's ass being in shot there he's he's climbed up on the bed again he knows he's not allowed but uh, hey ho he's not doing any harm right so there's blue max i've got soft aid um which was a compilation I knew of at the time, but never got. Um, so when I saw that was available, I was always um, quite intrigued about it. Um, I decided I'd go for that one as well. Now, let's have a look at what games are on the compilation itself. Was, of course, um, a product released to support um, Band-Aid, the Feed the World thing. We've got Cockatoni Wilf, <laughs> The Pyramid, um, a video I did... Um, a couple of weeks back of uh, a game i really enjoyed it horace go skiing yes i've got another horace go skiing that makes about six copies i've got now now i know that people have got way way more copies uh of it than that and the pyramid i didn't know it was on uh, fantasy uh, sorry it was on uh, soft aid in it um i have actually got a standalone copy of the pyramid in this um, pickup but it's a great game so i'm uh, quite happy with that ant attack um i've only ever played very very briefly um 3d tank duel jack and the beanstalk oh i suppose uh yeah i suppose it was going to have one turd in it somewhere wasn't it and sorcery from virgin so i'm really really quite um happy to to have that little compilation there um because like i said i never had it back in the day so what else have we got we've got starion from melbourne house um, as it says by David Webb now I've again never known this game at all um, it's a kind of 3d space battle thingy um, so I'm intrigued to sort of check that out as well uh, distinctive sort of Melbourne house style of uh, presentation there I've got Arcadia um, the reason I've gone for that is uh, Andy Green did a um, loading screen of uh, of that a reimagined uh, loading screen of that in his uh, excellent pixel art um, series of uh, things that he's covered so i have played arcadia i do enjoy the game um also it features on the commercial breaks uh documentary and i thought yeah why not why not pick it up why not have a copy of it uh what's the last one in here the never ending story for the spectrum 128k i've actually got three copies of this now um <laughs> there's two in the uh, the bundle that i got with the um the fantastic bundle i got with uh, the spectrum plus two action pack there was two copies of that in there so yeah i've gone from zero to uh, to three in uh, in that one i've got um a cover and the game conquestador from Herbe Software, Spanish House, um, released by Melbourne House. Now, um, you'll see it doesn't have a case. I was aware of that. Um, you know, that's not um, uh, Darren having me over or anything. It was um, fully obvious in the pictures of the game um, when he posted them up for sale uh, that this was the way they came. This was the way it came, sorry. And I have um, plenty of... Um, well, I say plenty. I've got a few um, dual, double jewel cases I can... Uh, put that in anyway i don't know that game at all never heard of it spanish game probably going to be really really hard but also probably likely to be incredibly well presented as the majority of them were <sighs> the pyramid like i said um i really enjoyed that and this version of it this copy of it that um, darren has sent me is in really quite good condition 
Um, it is one of a trilogy of games, uh, I believe, with... Uh, oh! I can't remember what the other one's called. Help me out on that one. Um, you play Ziggy and you've got to uh, find your way out of the pyramid, basically. Like I said, I did do a video of that recently. Didn't know it was on the Soft Aid compilation. Um, wouldn't have stopped me buying both anyway. Um, because, you know, it's a really, really good game. Very, very highly thought of. So, what have we in here? We've got Kane from Mastertronic. Uh, a game that sort of features quite... Um, quite a lot when you talk about sort of budget games and things that uh, games that people enjoyed etc um i always loved mastertronic's um sort of cartoon presentation of their artwork um so again i'm happy to sort of own that and give that a play i've never played it before don't think i've ever played it before what have we got here we've got uh, a copy of zoom a game that i really like i do already own it um but I wanted another copy because I'm giving the copy that I already own away as part of the competition on my channel for the funniest joke on the um, ZX Spectrum unboxing and competition thing, a midjig, on my channel. So, yeah, um, I like playing this game. Uh, great game by John, John Gibson. So I'm really quite happy that I'll be able to continue doing so. Uh, what have we got here? Silo. Don't know it at all. Uh, from Firebird, um, sort of isometric style game. So, yeah, hopefully um, that's quite good. And finally, finally, I have ETX. Now, I've been intrigued by this game since I saw Larry Bundy Jr.'s um, video about it. It's a... <laughs> conversion um inverted commas of the uh, atari game that's widely uh rumored to have caused the uh, video game crash buried in the desert and everything like that regarded as one of the worst games of all time although i've played games that appear to be far far worse than the atari version of et but there is a conversion of it on the spectrum and i've like i said i've been really intrigued by it especially when you see things such as what's written in here now larry's video if you've seen it, it goes it into a lot of depth about some of this um but look at that that is total bollocks isn't it <laughs> I, I am going to review this game on a video because i really really um think the uh the level of bullshittery here is uh quite spectacular now, you know with codemasters games everyone used to take the piss and say oh you know they're going you'd get um, either of the darlings on there going, oh, yeah, it's fantastic, it's brilliant, blah, blah, blah. Um, State-of-the-art graphics, you'll be amazed and stuff like that. It came, you know, because the games were actually sort of quite good. So no one sort of really minded, I don't think. But um, I'm intrigued about this. This will be the subject of a video in hopefully in the not-too-distant future. OK, that's it. Just some fun um, little pickups. ups uh, Like I said, that's going to be the last of the tapes that I get for quite some time lest i win the lottery and move into a much bigger house or i end up with a man cave like david birdsall's got he's got a man castle basically thanks ever so much for watching if you like the video please let me know if you wish to subscribe please do so but please if you do subscribe take the time to join in with the discussion because that's what it's all about thanks ever so much take care goodbye